today we have a beautiful specimen today to check out. It's the Fire Valkyrie, Vanessa. Let's dissect her skills and stats and see what potential this unit has. So jumping right into her stats, she's at max level level 4 to fully awakened. Um, this is what they're going to look like. Um, she has moderate speed, pretty high defense, little on the lower end HP. Um, I would say mid to low end HP, which is pretty decent for a nat 5 and her attack is pretty low. So this is a support unit stats, that's what you're going to be looking for, right? Um, so she's a fire element, so she's weaker against water units, but then strong against wind units. Right? So that's one thing you want to take into consideration when you're going to make a pick for Vanessa. The biggest advantage of having a Vanessa is her leader skill. It's a 33% speed boost to your team and it's calculated from their base speed. This won't be applied anywhere outside of the arena as it is a, an arena skill. Now her first skill is pretty bland. Promise of the sword, just a normal attack on the unit. Where this comes in handy, if you kill a unit, it procs her second skill, Seal of Fire. Seal of Fire is a two turn defense break and does damage on a unit's max HP. Her third skill is a passive that revives the ally with attack buff and 30% HP if they receive fatal damage pretty much. Arena defense, amazing for this but you have to be aware that her passive has a cooldown so if her passive is on cooldown and a unit dies it won't activate all right so let's get into the juicy stuff right now we're going to talk about how we can ruin venessa now you ruin her depending on your progression in the game right so if you're early game you got this really early maybe your first nat 5 unfortunately not a very good pull she's not a farming unit she's more of a pvp unit amazing in arena via her again her leader skill so if you get but if, you know if you get this unit first you want to build her as tanky as possible because you want her to survive speed hp hp speed hp defense is going to be your preferred but you definitely want to have her valent if you can um, when you start to move up mid 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 games um still same speed hp hp because you want her, her, her key thing is going to be her revive and her leader skill Right, so you want her to survive, you want her to be tanky, you want her to be hard to kill. Substats is uh, resistance, defense, a little bit of attack, a little bit of accuracy, so that she can land that defense brick. Now, once you get to end game, still violent, you can either ruin her violent will, violent endure, um, anything that can have her being tanky, hard to kill. Now, her substat, you can build her for damage, speed, crit damage. HP, speed kit rate HP, um, but you want to get her fast because she does have an armor break, so you want her to move before her attackers. So, you know, that can also help. Um, these are the stats I have, they're pretty weak, um, but you want around 30k HP, about 100% defense, so you want about, you know, another plus 700 defense. Crit rate and kit damage, the crit damage doesn't have to be too high because, again, she's not really a damage dealer. But she can help to burn something down. But you want really high crit rate. Nice resistance on her. That she can resist any reset coming in. And you know a decent amount of accuracy. That she can land her armor breaks from her second skill. So how good is Vanessa? She's amazing in arena. 33% speed lead. She has a small revive. And defense break. Good unit. And she has good stats as well. But where she falls short is like she's a single, t single, 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 single target unit. My English got messed up in there a little bit. I forgot English for five seconds. Um, she has limited utility and she's really bad early game. But mid and late game, amazing unit. If you pull her, they definitely keep her. Please do not fodder her because I know you just start the game and you're like, oh, what is this unit doing? You fodder them and then late game, you're like, sweet baby Jesus, what have I done? So yeah, hold on to this unit. You won't regret it. Venice is an amazing monster. And um, I hope she takes you through all your progression. Let's go.